Welcome to another episode of the Windy City Comic Blog. I'm your host, Mr. DC. I'm your second host, the amazing Alex, with a special guest today, fellow comic book fan and everything involving sci-fi. Let's just call it aficionado. I don't have a nickname yet, but I think by the end of this co- our podcast, we'll uh, we'll come up with something. Damn straight. Uh, let's start right now, actually. Brian, what should Daniel's name be? Hmm. Hmm. You say anything about my face, I swear to God. Hmm. <laughs> What's a good comic book villain? Oh. All right. Well, well, Doctor Boom. Doctor <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I do like a good Boom. Uh, I don't know, maybe Beaker. I like Beaker. Beaker. Are you I fucking like relating me to a Muppet? <laughs> God damn I it, love, Alex. I love. <laughs> I love Beaker. <laughs> Dan Nye, the science guy. <laughs> Dan, Dan Nye, the science guy. Dan, Dan Nye. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something we'll out. We'll figure it out. So let's see what's on the agenda for today, Alex. Alright, guys. It's been a while. It's been a while since we've done... We're back from hiatus, bitches. Mm-hmm. We're off, you know... Saving right, the world. You know... That whole crisis on infinite earths yeah, never that, gonna fix itself. That's crazy, and now Marvel's you know new Secret War is coming out, you know, involving the multiple universes of Marvel. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's for DC. You talking about DC? I'm talking about Marvel. Am I? Yes. You talking about DC? I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't pay attention to my fellow co-hosts. He doesn't. No. He's got attention deficits. We really gotta get this fixed. I have attention what? (laughs) (laughs) You think you're so funny. I am, damn it. It's okay. This is why you can't be Batman. Don't you Robin, I was going to defuse something. (laughs) What was it? (laughs) Oh my god, Gotham. Where did you go? Oh my god. Speaking about Gotham, uh... Me and Brian have been watching it. Dan is new to it, so he hasn't seen all the episodes yet. Um, For those of you who have not seen it, it's easy to catch up. There's only six episodes, I believe, right now. Yes. That's Was right. it a 12-episode season? Uh, 12 or 13? Yeah. No. I mean, I, I mean, definitely at, at the 12th mark, they'll probably either they'll probably either end the first season or they'll continue on with the first season, right? Something Probably. Like that. No, based yeah. on your guys' opinion, do you think this is going to be a long-running show or something that's just going to kind of fizzle it's got out? Got three seasons. It's, it's already in the bag if with three they, seasons. No, I be, uh, I agree with them. It, it either has to go three seasons, and they got each season's got to be different. This has to be like at least like a time gap, you know, like in between. Like let's say the, the first season ends right, and when the second season starts, is like a couple like five years after the first season. Now is this show supposed you know? to lead all the way up to the beginning of the Batman origin story, or what's yeah, the... like the 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 last episode of Gotham is going to be when Bruce Wayne puts on the Batman suit. Okay. You know, so if, depending on how many seasons they have, you know, to get to that point, you know, they have to do some some type of time. Only if Ben Affleck made an appearance at the end of the season. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know guess. if I'm sold on that yet. I don't know if I'm sold on Batman. I'm sold, I'm sold on him being in the new Batman. Could be worse. They could cast Chris Hemsworth. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> Let's be real, people. You can only be one hero. Mm-hmm. You cannot be five. But he was amazing in Cabin in the Woods until he got killed. <laughs> okay. Duly yeah. noted. I, 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 I take it where it happens in the movie theater. So. It was pretty not Thor-like, to no. be quite honest with you. He did not fly. No. <laughs> Very disappointing. Did he, did he die like a little behind? Yeah. He did? Okay. He took a motorcycle. So he's like, hey, guys, I'm going to see this and jump this gap. Oh my god, whoa! <laughs> it was bad. That just sounds god Oh, awful. that is awesome, actually. That sounds like an epic fail. <laughs> it was pretty spectacular. Oh my god. What do you think of Gotham so far? There's not enough villains, but they okay. did introduce Venom, so we know that Bane can make an appearance. Yes, that was awesome. That was a good episode. Um, they introduced like at least three villains in the first se- in the first episode alone. It was um, Penguin, um, the Littler, and uh, Poison Ivy, and no Catwoman actually. She she, I mean, she makes a big appearance, but they're all pre villain like Selena Kyle and their names, their regular names. Okay. So um, I I can't wait to see Harvey Dent. You know, I mean, I'm hoping like 
like he's like a kid like Bruce and they become like best friends. Because that yeah, also, would be weird. No, because that's how it was in the comics. You know, in the yes, comics, but they, they were best you know, maybe friends. Bruce will feel like he's you know has two sides to him. <laughs> <laughs> two sides. Well, you know, I mean, I guess that would be corny, but you know, only if you had like a nickname. If he's like a young politician, they're like, oh. Yeah, that two phase dent. I don't want him in politics. <laughs> <laughs> Such yeah, uh, subtlety. I don't know. Bad puns. I never, I never think are very good for <laughs> ratings or any uh, sort of. Or you know, like, remember like in the anime series that Two Face was introduced, like he had like a split personality. Basically. Yeah, it could work. You know, I mean, they could do that. That'd be really hard to work with, though, because you'd have to develop that as a character. Because if you were to introduce him, no one would introduce him as someone who's initially fucking nutso. I don't know if that would well, really fly well, so no, well. No, no, I mean, not not in the show. I mean, definitely, I mean, it will, it will build up to that. I mean, maybe even in the show, they introduce, like, why he has this good personality. Mm-hmm. Maybe he had to, like, kill somebody, you know, to save Bruce Wayne's life, and his psyche couldn't take it, you know? That's possible, but he has yeah. always been portrayed in the comics as someone who has that split personality disorder, so I think it would be really, really... I think it would speak well of the series. In all fairness, that's the something. biggest difference between... Batman is his own comic. I don't even know why he's with DC. He really should just be Batman Inc. Because <laughs> it's kind of weird. All Batman's villains all went to a mental institute. Arkham, as we're all familiar with. Right. That's what Batman's villains were. Mental weirdos. <laughs> Not like, oh, I fell in a toxic sludge. I have the Flash's powers. No, I went I went crazy, and I'm going to kill the world dressed up like an alligator. Well, Ra's al Ghul, he has like that Lazarus pit. You know, he's that. still, he's mentally unstable. He can't feel feelings. <laughs> Lazarus Pitt can't heal that. Now can he? Can't heal a broken heart. <laughs> <laughs> Although they are introducing, um, like you said, Zaz is now coming. Zaz yeah. is on there. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they started his killing spree on that show and showed like the first marking. Right. And started like showing his collection because he was untattooed when we saw him on Gotham. Okay. Yeah, that's true. At least that's what I remember seeing, but who knows what I saw at that point. <laughs> but I didn't see any scars because his body is decked out in them. Yeah, no, so this could be the start of his killing spree. Yeah. Which would be great. I mean, which would be good. Not great thing to do. <laughs> do not condone violence. I don't. I don't How I dare don't. you? Okay, so sticking with DC, everything DC and television, um... The Flash. I uh, stopped watching The Flash because it's too slow. Oh I, my god. Here, I saw a couple episodes here, here, here on go. late night TV and I was like, you know what? I can't watch this whole thing, so I ended up going to bed too. I'm giving it a chance. I mean, because they're, they're trying to be... I mean, they're trying to be in the same universe as as Arrow. They are, and but, it but, works. But, 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 they're, but it's, a, it's still its own character and its own brand, so they have to have its own unique style. Where the Flash, I mean, where Arrow is more like kind of like street level crime realistic, the Flash is more sci fi, you know. And it, they've introduced that with, you know, the supervillains with powers and the guy that's eventually going to become, you know, the reverse Flash from the, he's from the future. But we don't know which one's going to be the reverse Flash. Technically, I remember the comics that one cop guy, he's supposed to be the reverse Flash. What cop guy? The one that is the, the one that's dating his yes. daughter. Yes, really. Yes. Okay, okay, but but I thought the reverse flash was from the future, like this guy is. Uh, no. In the origin story that I remember, was he was a guy that recreated the Flash's experiment, and then was able to dash forward in time, and found out that the Flash killed him, and it like messed with his brain. Oh. And he thought that he was Alan Barry, and he had to take out the fake Alan Barry. And he's like, ah, no. No, bro. Can't be two of us. <laughs> there can only be one. There can only be one, Flash. <laughs> <laughs> and that is when Highlander met the Flash. <laughs> you can only kill a speedster by beheading him. Or chopping off his feet. <laughs> I, I would give it. I, I, I'm still going to give it. If I, I like this so far. I think it's pretty cool. Um... And although, I mean, what's your opinion now that, you know, I speak about Flash, you know, they, they've casted, I guess they're casting the Flash for the movies. So a lot of people are saying that they should just use, like, the, the actors who are in the show. I like the guy that they got for the Flash, Urza Miller. 
I think that would add a lot of continuity, and I think that'd be good for the movies. Uh, the only downside is some of these actors I can't picture. I, I don't like the guy that got for The Flash now. He's just too... Skinny or scrawny. Or he's not like... snarky enough. He's got, like, the intelligence, but he's not... He the Flash been... is just cocky in all ways. This is not him. But, like, Green Arrow, that's a good Green Arrow. So I can see that one. But Flash, I feel like he needs to change his dialogue or they need to get someone else. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, I mean, we'll just see what happens. I mean, I think it's a good idea to actually keep it separate. I mean, the television, you know, like DC Comics versus the movie comics. Because, I mean, that way it kind of like, I mean, it gives it a kind of like its own mod- television version of the multiverse, you know. And uh, which is DC has been famous for. Like, they, they have, like, you know, like Elseworld, what's called Elseworld Comics. It basically puts, you know, classic, you know, superheroes like Batman, Superman, and puts them in, like, different situations. Like, you see, like, those comics over there, like, I have, like, um, like, Batman the Dark Knight, um, in Camelot, you know? And, like, I have another one where Superman is raised by Darkseid. Because you know? no one puts Batman in the corner. <laughs> no one. No one puts Batman in the corner. No one. That's a movie I'd like to see. That would be an epic movie. Actually. Dirty Dancing with <laughs> Batman. And the Joker has to play Patrick Swayze. <laughs> no one puts Batman in the corner. <gasps> Joker. You're the one for me. Exactly. Laughing gas is just going on like the whole campground. Amazing. Do it off of you. I would awesome. love it. That'd be hilarious. Alright, and then Arrow, so far, really good. I mean, I think Arrow's been a hit since season one. I mean, season two was awesome. Like, they had Deathstroke in there and just, oh, my God. And, like, introducing, like, the, Argus, yeah. Suicide Squad, Amanda Waller. Mm-hmm. Everyone who, is, I, who I've talked to who have seen that show has just really enjoyed it. I think they did a really good job with it, and I think it moves at a fast enough pace where it's actually easy to get into and easy to continue watching. I think I might have mentioned this before, but I think, like, the, the creator stuff like that, I think they originally wanted to do a Batman show, but they couldn't, so they, so they said, let's just take that aspect of Batman and put it onto Arrow. And they made Arrow its own thing, because originally Arrow was just like uh, he was just a cocky kid who was trapped on an island for five years, and when he came back, decided to do crime fighting. Like there is none of this like dark, deep story that the show has, you know, which is great because it gives that character more of life. Where before he was just no one gave a shit about Green Arrow, you know. Like Green Arrow was like a fucking joke. You know, now better than you know, Hawkeye. We're, 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 what guy wears purple? We're 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 gonna have to fight right now. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's just, just cool your jets. All I'm right. just saying, we see Hawkeye with like what his little boy protege. At least Green Arrow married Black Canary. Put that out there. Uh, he's got a he's got a legitimate point there. Hawkeye <laughs> had a boy pupil, did he not? I'm almost positive he did. No, that's Green Arrow. He has he has red arrow. Yes, but what? Speedy, but who did he know? do? What he married one of the hottest DC heroines of all time. Uh, well, Hawkeye is with Black Widow, so... Oh, is he? Uh-huh. Yeah? Uh-huh. Is that in the comic books? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. No. Shut your face. Shut your face. Shut your face. Oh, my gosh. So... He wears purple. Green Arrow can kick his ass. So... That people. What are you liking about the, the, the new season so far? Probably the League of Assassins. Ra's al Ghul was introduced for you, for those of you who are not caught up on the show... So it's possible you're going to see more Batman elements get added to the show that could possibly cross over. I, I mean, they definitely can't like, put like any big name like um, villain or like Rose Galleries from Batman on Arrow. Like they can't throw like the Penguin or like Killer sure. Croc. Can totally do or, it. Or jo- you think? Okay, so you think the Joker could be on Arrow? Yes. Well, why not? That doesn't seem like there would be any reason why but they couldn't do Batman's something like that. Look at Injustice. That's Batman's villain. But that's a video game, of course. It was a comic book as well. That they adapted. I don't of- give a damn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you could put Damian Wayne in Injustice, <laughs> what can you not do? <laughs> all right, all right, fine, fine, fine. All right, now the latest um, DC show, um, Constantine. I have not seen it yet. Nor have I. So the only review we have is, is Mr. DC. Ridiculous! Himself. You guys are 
disappointments to the family. <laughs> anyway, this is the actual Constantine. Although Keanu Reeves, we all know and love, that was probably one of his better movies since The Matrix. But not a direct... It was not a direct correlation by mm-hmm. any means yeah. necessary. This one goes with the original costume. Hellblazer is the original comics. Mm-hmm. For all of you that go to your comic book shop saying, I want to read Constantine. Hellblazer, let's remember there yeah. is no such comic called Constantine. Yeah, it's just called, it is called Hellblazer. Uh-huh. Constantine actually had some magical powers. Him, I believe Doctor Strange and a couple other ma- in Zatanna have teamed up before yes, to make a have. magical tea. Yes, they have. It was called the, I think it was called the Dark Justice for in the New 52 and Frankenstein was in it. So, definitely, again, everyone should check that out. But Constantine just tells the story of John Constantine, what he was doing, all of his... It's hard to say where they're going to go with it because they haven't actually introduced a big villain yet. It's kind of all been... There's a battle coming to Earth that he knows of that's going to be really big, but that's all we know for right now. So what does he do, like maybe exorcisms or something like that? He does exorcisms, and he's trying to atone for his past when he had to... For those, again, if you've not seen the first episode, no, I'm about spoilers. to ruin this. Yes, yeah, okay. This is always going to be ruined. Mm-hmm. He has locked himself in a mental institute in the first episode because he had to condemn a little girl to hell because he didn't perform an exorcism right. He tried to summon a higher demon to get rid of a lower demon, and in doing so, he had to tr- condemn a possessed 12-year-old girl straight to hell for eternity. So he's trying to deal with that strife and kind of that pain of doing it. And this is pretty much him getting back in the game so far. My favorite cameo, as I told these kids right here, the helmet of Dr. Fate. As all of you will know, he is a lord of the order. Hope to God someone's going to put on the helmet. They did do it in Smallville. Dr. Fate was in Smallville. Let's not open that can of worms. (laughs) Fair fair enough. We all know that out of the eight to nine seasons, there's only two seasons that we can even count of Smallville. Okay, okay, all right, all right. The, the, the last two seasons, <laughs> which I, I agree. I don't know, first season was also pretty... Okay, so three. No, I mean, I, I agree. I like the first season, season eight, nine, and ten. Okay. I'm just disappointed I never got to see Purple Kryptonite mixed with Red Kryptonite. I want to see a Kryptonite Gobstopper. <laughs> it just kept changing colors. <laughs> yeah, but like, but like, what if like, there was like a rainbow fucking kryptonite? It's out there. Okay, been... it's out there. <laughs> what happens? Superman gets high, kids. <laughs> he gets near it. He puts on a Grateful Dead t-shirt. And he's like, whoa. <laughs> That's the effects. Best comic series ever. <laughs> we, we should make it, Ryan. Woodstock, the DC story. <laughs> I'll make And on the third day, every villain and hero got together. And saying smoke on the water. <laughs> Best comic book ever. Oh my god. Okay. You guys have watched American Horror Story. I have never have. I'm not big into horrors, but you guys are saying it's really good. Explain to me why. I mean, what exactly do you want to know what's good about it? It's a, it's yeah, a it's messed a really up open, story. It's, it's a really open ended question. Come on, let's get some specifics here. Okay, well, tell me about the season. This well, season is Freak Show. Yes, and they is, brought they brought in a few special actors for this season, which I thought was a very nice touch for it. Right. Yeah, we go. I mean, to me, it's just the same cast over and over, which yeah. that's what I like about like, it. Is it is this season more creepier than like the first or second season? Nothing. I hated the first season for everyone that's watching. That was stupid. I agree. Second season got better. Third season coming. That was the best season. That one was really good. I thought that was good. That was amazing. This season's gonna be... It's not really scary as the other ones we're trying to go for. This is more of a creepy feel. Yeah, this is one that's kind of supposed to make your spine sort of tangle a little bit. Make your hairs on the back of your neck stand up a little bit. Especially for all you people who are afraid of clowns. Uh, This one definitely... uh, Uh, Definitely takes that one to a new level. Which the show (laughs) has been trying to be shut down currently. Um, by the National Clown Association. Yes. Really? Um, yes. They are not yeah. happy <laughs> that clowns are being depicted as creepy, like, twisty and dandy. Well, let's be quite honest here. Who has ever seen a clown or come into contact with a clown and being like, oh, that guy looks pretty cool. I think I'm going to go talk to him. Usually you're like, I'm going to stay the fuck away from that guy. I don't know. Bozo seemed like a down homie. No <laughs> way, man. That I guy... love Bozo's buckets. <laughs> fuck that clown lied to me. Dude, I guarantee you that guy, every every day after the show, he'd go back there and just Suck like... Suck souls off children. Or do a line. <laughs> 
I'm basically. sorry. It's the only way you can portray a character. You gotta get really fucked up. Yep. All right. What was those buckets? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, everyone should check it out, though. It's again, still a few episodes to get into. Excellent show, though. Only downside is that every episode is an hour long, so you do gotta devote some time to it. Mm-hmm. But the story that they tell is built upon layer by layer. So you are going to have to see it from start to finish if you really want to get the full gist of what's going on. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, well, well I'll keep that in mind, and maybe I will, probably won't, though, because I... You better. scared of clowns, I, I, I'm just scared of shit, period. <laughs> okay? I'm just, I'm, I'm a one big fucking scaredy cat, right? So, uh, the, only, the only kind of horror movie I like is, like, the classic, like, like black and white horror movies, like, from, like... Frankenstein and like Dracula. I don't know if that really counts. I think that more <laughs> falls under the category of classic movies as opposed to horror movies. <laughs> I mean, that. Bram Stoker's Dracula is not really scary. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. It's really with Keanu Reeves in it. Yeah. Whoa, I see bloody wolves. Oh. Again, the jealousy is strong with this one. <laughs> I mean, I mean, look, Keanu Reeves has his moments. Matrix who has it critically? Who has, who, what, did that movie, was it critically acclaimed? Was that was that what it was? <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't because of Keanu Reeves. Uh, <laughs> okay. I don't know about that. <laughs> Brand Stoker's Dracula was not dedicated because of Keanu Reeves. Okay? I think so, it was. All right, man. All right, I have seen Star Wars Rebels, and I am loving it so far. I mean, uh, it's really, really good. I mean, it definitely feels like I'm watching the original movies. You know, original Star Wars movies. I mean, it gives it that feel, you know. What makes it have that feel? Because I was watching Clone Wars. Clone Wars definitely had the new sort of prequel feel to it. Kind of a little bit more, I don't know. I don't know. It it got darker as it went on. But as it started, it was definitely more of a, it seems like more of a kid show. But this, I don't know. I haven't seen much of the Rebels. Does that one still follow that feel as kind of a a younger crowd show? Or does it still have those dark elements? Or It it, it, it does have a little bit of dark elements. I mean, you see Stormtroopers getting killed. You know, like, you know, so, I mean, there's that. And then, um... But it doesn't really matter. Stormtroopers (laughs) are just cannon fodder. Exactly. They're kind of just like... They're fodder. (laughs) I mean, there's like, what... Every one you kill, three pop out. They're like Hydra. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, I, I mean, it, it's cool, though, because, I mean, we, we get to see, you know... Uh, Hell Hydra. Hell Hydra. <laughs> <laughs> we, we People do. need to throw that in a conversation more often. Like, ah, oh, you know, yeah, Burger King. Take a number two with cheese and bacon and uh, Hell Hydra. <laughs> I will give you both. I will give you both a dollar. If you come back to the next podcast and you say that you've done that to someone at least five times, and you give me five examples. Okay. Something. Do you guys agree to this bet? I don't know. Maybe I'll get you a beer instead. It's probably worth more than a dollar. <laughs> All right. Okay. And we'll, we'll see. Because we'll, we'll, I'll do it too. We'll, we'll see but that just sounds that. Like, that's not, that sounds like a lot of fun, and I think it'd be kind of fun to fuck with people's heads like that. We'll, come on. We'll, we'll revisit that once we come up with your name. <laughs> Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. And um, so I'm really liking it. Um, it this episode, the new one that came out too. Well, actually, it's cool because if you have on demand after the episode airs, you know, on live and cable, they have the next five episode already on demand for you to view. So you don't have to wait like a whole week in order to watch the next episode. And I mean, do you want if the one if you want to watch a newer one? Yes, of course. But it's cool. You know, so I like I I get to instantly watch that new episode after this one airs live. You know, on the man, and um, the new one that they had was it was cool because they had they, they showed the Clone War ships. You know, <laughs> so you, you do see so there was that connection between episodes you know three and four because this takes place between that. You know, kind of the, you know the dark times. You know, the Obi Wan says you know this is the the dark. Before the dark times, and it was. And I think we all know that Batman would make the best Jedi. Agreed. Uh, who will win the <clears throat> fight, Batman or Darth Vader? Oh, Batman. I was gonna say Vader, man. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I'd have to put my money on Vader. I Batman really would. would choke himself out to make him think he was dead, and just like battering him right <laughs> in the voice box. <laughs> yeah, but he has the Force, you know. I mean, he can stop that shit. You probably see that coming. 
But when's the Batman wasn't thinking about it? Lightsaber. End of story. When's the Batman got his hands on a lightsaber? You chop his arm off. As would all of us. Come on. I mean, if we here's were... the only disappointing part. If Batman gets <clears throat> in a Chlorian, who's going to stop the Batman with the Force? Think about it, though. Think about it. I mean, if, if, you, have, if you have Darth Vader, and he loses his lightsaber for some reason, and Batman picks it up, he's probably going to cut his hand off. Because I know if I ever got my hands on a lightsaber, the first thing I would do, it would either be I'd I learn Batman it really well, or I'd cut a hand off. Stuff. I think Batman turns to dark because if he did become a Jedi, because Batman's dark, like like he he's fueled by you know the kind of like, you know the, the sense of justice, but also hatred towards you know like towards, towards villains. And as a Jedi, you can't have that hatred really. I mean, you can fight a Sith, but you know, but you can't do it out of like hatred for them. All right, you guys, Jedi or Sith? What are you? I think I'm a Jedi. Fuck the Jedi. <laughs> Hands down, dude. Fuck the Jedi. Uh, no way. Ooh, force push. Force lightning. I can do force lightning too if I choose. No, you can't. That's a dark no, side power, can. man. Dark side. Well, I can block it like Yoda does. You so, wish you were that so, good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping my search like that. You are never like Yoda. Oh my god. So I highly recommend, if you like Star Wars or Clone Wars, I think you would love Star Wars Rebels. And speaking of Star Wars Clone Wars, um, we were talking earlier and... No, there is one thing you forgot. Yeah, what? Hell Hydra. Hell Hydra. Hell Hydra, yes. <laughs> Good point. Good point. <laughs> Duly noted. Um, well stated. Now, as we all know, like they abruptly ended Star Wars Clone Wars without a final series. I mean, if, uh, Which is a real they, shame yeah. for such an excellent series that they didn't close it on a good note. Yeah, I mean, even even with the 13 episodes that they, the lost 13 episodes they released on Netflix, it still wasn't a closer. I mean, those were just the episodes that they finished, but they um, didn't... You know th- that weren't aired. I mean, and they've tried to you know finish up the storylines with introducing comics yeah. and books and whatever was leaked online that they you know leaked. Um, but you know, I mean, it, it's a good point. Like they, you know, it, it it's just a shame. I mean, what would you have guys like to see um, them? Ahsoka. Know, like, I will not. I, I want to know where <laughs> is she. And you never know. Maybe she she could pop up in Star Wars Rebels. No, is Star Wars Rebels written and directed by the same people who did Clone Wars? Yes. The only the only difference is in Rebels, like, um, is a whole new cast. You know? Well, that's okay like, though, because you know, even if it's a whole new nice. cast, no, they... I, I think that's awesome. I I, I want to see that. I want to see a whole new cast. I don't want them recycling characters that they fuse from you know the movies and stuff like that. Like Ahsoka was fresh. No, she she wasn't. But I've invested so many time in her. I need to see what happens. But that leaves an opportunity for this new show to kind of show you what happened to her. So I think that's yeah. kind of interesting. Maybe I they did that on purpose. Huh? I just need to know if she lived or died. No, I, I think she lived. Uh, I think she died. Why? Think, what makes you think Why? she died? And I think Anakin censored in the Force. I mean, he just went on a dark path. You gotta think. When he went from episode one to episode two, she what happened? It was, just, it was just going down for him. I mean, episode three. I mean, when, when episode. I mean, it, it, in episode it, it, three, it, it, he had pretty much lost all hope in the Jedi Council. He didn't understand any of the things that they were saying to him. Right, and, and but but you never know why though. I mean, why? I mean, what would like really make him turn? I mean, yes, if his mother was killed and stuff like that. But what would really make him turn? I think you're right. I think if you know that they would have answered that gap in Star Wars Clone Wars, it would have made more sense to the fans. You know, episode two, he was willing to lose a limb to save Padme. Mm-hmm. Right. And episode then, 3 is like, yo, why am I not in the Grand Council? Why you keep holding me back? Uh-huh. Oh, and he chokes Pat, I mean, the, the woman he claims to love, you know. It just, you know. No, so, I mean, so he definitely become, I mean, so, I mean, maybe seeing that, maybe seeing, like, that that push he had. I mean, I mean, we were talking about that episode where, he, uh, like, he, him, Obi-Wan, and Soka met Went the Went to the planet of the Force. Right, planet of the Force, right. And met the light and the dark and... It was, it, which was a cool episode because it, cause it got to show you, like, well, what if Anakin knows what, what would he become? I mean, like, what would he do to that information? He almost killed. Um, I actually don't remember what happened in the episode. I mean, like, he, they tried to go in there, and each of the daughter and the son sends to Anakin, he has great potential, and each one wants him to go to their side. One to vanquish the other, one to vanquish the other. But the father says, no, we gotta always keep balance. There can't be. Mm-hmm. And through it all, like, through the fighting, the son, like, kills the daughter and vanquishes, like, the light side of the right. force. Right. 
And then he wants Anakin to join him, so he takes control of Ahsoka. Okay. And right before the son's about to die, the father's died, and it's pretty much they're like, this is the inevitable truth of the world. Everyone's going to perish, but right. we gotta maintain balance. He shows him, like, this is what you're gonna become. This is your future. Right. But then he makes him forget it. Oh, okay. I thought it was the son who, who showed him the future. Yeah. Okay. And, and then, like, to convince him to... You join know, the dark side. Right, or something, so that he would... <laughs> to join the dark side so that he could avoid being the dark side. <laughs> no. So, yes, no. It's, 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 it makes no sense. All right, so, besides Ahsoka, I mean, like, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, pretty much, like, I think that's everyone's deal. Like, they want to know what happened to Ahsoka. And, uh, and but also, in the 13th episode, it was great because, like, they showed... One of the clones, like they have like a chip in their head and stuff like that, and that's what you know. When Order sixty six comes in, that's when that's why they all kill. It. Cause the, I mean, it, which makes sense because you know if you have like an army with you, right, and like you've been loyal like to the Jedi guy for like years, all of a sudden some old guy says Order sixty six, and then just turns around. Where's the fries? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> weren't they in in episode two? They were talking about how they're. Uh... Even, what's the guy, the Camino, and he's standing there and he's oh, saying the they are totally obedient and will answer any order without question, you know? So, I mean, I don't know if they necessarily need to have a chip in their head if they're genetically modified or whatever to specifically follow any That's order true. that they're given. But well, yeah, but they did introduce that though in the last 13 episodes, though. And so, but, but it ended up being like, you know, they just framed this guy, this poor clone, and they ended up killing him, and no one knows the truth, you know? So, I mean, and this was kind of cool because it, it always it kind of leaves, like, those kind of those details and stuff like that. And then, I know they came up with the comics of, like, Darth Maul, you know, like, the continuation of the story of Darth Maul. And I'm not going like to lie. That. I think he should have just stayed dead. You, He's not that good of a character. Uh, I don't know. His brother is awesome. His uh, brother was an actual Sith Jedi. But uh, I, hmm. thought, I thought they did really good, though, in the show. You know, I mean, with bringing him back in the story and stuff like that. But they should have... Killed them off or something like that. At the Plus, end. I love knowing his brothers' names. Yeah. Maul, Feral, and Savage. Yeah. Savage is right. They, they, they are related. Yeah. Savage, Feral, and Maul were all three brothers. Okay, that's right. That's right. Oh man, so too bad, too bad. We, you know, we won't get those laws. We want closure, damn it. <laughs> Make it happen, George. If you're listening. Yeah. You get to work. <laughs> How s- dare you? I'll see you in Chicago, George, when you make your fancy you know, space museum. Did you guys look at that place? That thing is going to be obnoxious. Maybe, Probably. but you know, I, I, you know what? The, I'm I, still going to go. But yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> but I me think too. the building. I mean, as far as architecture goes, I think it's kind of a kind of. I don't know. I guess it fits with the Millennium Park, but it's think, still ugly. I, yeah, but I think you should have built it like literally on the lake. Like they should, uh, like, can you imagine the engineering and shit that would have to go into doing that, though? I don't know. I think it's cool. I think it's a cool idea, but I still think the building itself, or at least the concept of it, is a little bit goofy. But I'm, you'll be damn sure that I'm going to be all over that place as soon as it opens. Question is, it is in a moving exhibit? I don't oh, think so. It's supposed to be a permanent building. Yeah. I thought it was a open. permanent building, but eventually yeah, they're going to move certain parts of it like to different locations. Well, I would imagine it, so. They did a museum. Yeah, no, yeah, I, mean, I don't care. I expect George Lucas to be there every day. <laughs> <laughs> Live up to his work. <laughs> oh, man, that'd be great. All right, so they recently revealed the Marvel Phase 3 for the upcoming years. To, I so, believe, 2017. Right. You have so, some strong thoughts about that. Let's hear some of those. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, so, so, so they have, you know, basically, <coughs> and, and we're just saying off the top of our heads, uh, Captain America Civil War. Black Panther. Uh, Black Panther. Captain America The Fallen Sun. No, no, no. There's only one Captain America. Yeah, they're having another one. It was interesting because um, I was actually reading online, and it turns out that the villain for that is not actually going to be a person, but is rather going to be the NSA. Yes. Yes. Which I found to be very, very interesting. Not only well, well, a very cool story idea, but an interesting political statement. Well, that's kind of how it was in the comics. In the in the comics, um, uh, the superhero group who had their own reality show right was after his villain, and the villain you know like was really dan- dangerous and exploded and basically took out like a whole town of people. 
and killed like children and and people and stuff like that and um, children are expendable <laughs> <laughs> and the government was like look we need to retrofit these superheroes you know and so Iron Man was all for it and Captain America wasn't and that's where it happened because Cap- uh, um, they were going to be forcing superheroes to register with the government and then they would have to work for the government you know and uh, but Captain America's like no that's wrong so you expecting this movie to be more of a setup for Civil War in that yes. case in almost every aspect, probably. Well, well, I mean, I mean, Captain they already showed that clip of the Avengers two, where Iron Man and Captain America are having yeah. that talk while chopping wood. Yeah, and then and then Captain America, you know, rips a wood, you know, like you know, you know how you chop wood, you know, but he, you know, he does it with his bare hands. And Tony's like, no, you gotta understand, the ends justify the means. Like we're gonna have world peace. We'll do whatever it takes. And he's like, no, that's right. I mean, that's that's where they're going. Yeah. I mean, civil every movie's gonna be linked to civil war. So. I mean, Civil War is such a core plot now in the Marvel Universe. Yeah, it yeah. is. It, it, it is pretty big. But then, I mean, I'm trying... Okay, so before we... Okay. Uh, I, and I, the Hulk is also going to be combated in Avengers 2, because Iron Man wears the Hulk Buster. Yes. Yeah, that's shown... Yes. That's kind of a little spoiler that they show in the trailer, which I thought was pretty exciting. I think that should turn out to be pretty good. Yeah. So they're going to have... So it's going to be... Um, so first of it, you know, Age of Ultron, Avengers, Age of Ultron, Ant Man, Doctor Strange, um, it's coming, um, uh, Captain America: Civil War, Captain Marvel, uh, The Inhumans, yeah, that's gonna be great. Black Panther, like you said, uh, Guardians, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, Galaxy Two. Two. That and I'm definitely then, looking uh, forward to. I thought the first movie was fantastic. And then uh, Avengers: Infinity War Part One and then Infinity. Well, the Infinity War, War or the Infinity Gauntlet. No, Infinity War. No, I'm wrong. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty you're the one that represents Marvel, Alex. No, you're comic books. Well, stop telling me I'm wrong then, damn it. Oh, I, I can't wait to see Darkseid in his Infinity Gauntlet. What about you? God damn it. What, wait, oh, I'm sorry. Is it Doomsday's Infinity Gauntlet? Uh, I'm gonna beat some ass tonight. Hmm, not Darkseid uh, and not Doomsday. Who's that guy? Pink uh, face? Some... Destroyer of words? Your your mama, how, how's that? Scorned scorn yeah. by death. Hmm. Uh, hmm. What, what what's his name? Theodore. <laughs> Teddy. <laughs> hmm. uh, Something with a th, guys. Help him out, Thomas. Do, Thomas the Tank Engine. Do you guys think <laughs> like they're? Do you guys think <laughs> like they're they're gonna continue with the um with this Marvel? I mean, like I mean, after Phase Three, do you think there's gonna be Phase Four, or do you think it's gonna end? This you is owned by Disney. Much. Come on. Think After about it. the Infinity Gauntlet, like, you'd have to go. You'd have to start reaching for plots. Well, I mean. They'll go do the Civil War. They'll do the Infinity War. What's what's next, Alex? What's a mar- What's another major mar- Marvel plot? Well, Secret Wars. I mean, I mean, I mean Secret- you can't do Secret Wars because someone's going to be like, how could you kill my villain? How could you kill my hero? They, they've already done it, so I mean, I don't know what they're complaining about. Maybe. They're gonna lose so much money if they try to do that one because as soon as some heroes die off, people's favorite heroes, they're not gonna watch the movies anymore. They're gonna be like, "Fuck this, I'm done with this." I know I would. I mean, if they killed off either Iron Man or Captain America or something like that, I'd be like, "Those are the two best, well, in my I opinion." Think, I'd be like, "I'm done." Well, I mean, depending on what happens in Civil War, because technically, in the comics, at the end of the Civil War, Captain America gets shot. Yeah, but he, he comes back. Well, yeah, yeah he does. On. Yeah, of course. He's Captain America. They can't kill off a major character like that. Well, that's the He's Captain the America the movie that comes out too, The Fallen Sun. Yeah. But I don't. I mean, but did they say? No, I mean, I don't remember that being being, being an announcement though. Like, I mean, I mean, I think it was. Mm. All right. Well. Either way, I'm looking forward to it. I love everything Marvel, as you know. I mean, and and, and I'm looking forward because you no, know, and they're all gonna have competition though with DC because DC have their have they have their own lineup, and I'll let you take that. So, well, we only have one major movie coming out: Batman versus Superman: The Dawn of Justice. Yeah, but they got their other role scholars for the next like 10, 10 years or something. They do, but I mean, they're not you know like Marvel and making promises. They work at one project at a time. So Marvel, if you fuck this up, 
you fucked this up. Hashtag muck Farvel. <laughs> yeah, but but what movies are coming out there for 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 um for DC that they're that they're doing that? Well, I believe Justice League is still kind of on the fence. Well, they'll have to come out with that eventually. Um, it's on its way. Aquaman. I don't think he's going to get his own movie, though. Yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing a Shazam movie just because of all the lore behind it. Well, I mean, it's confirmed that, um, what's his name? Um, uh, the, the, the Rock, Dwayne Johnson, is going to be playing, is going to be in Shazam. I think he's going to be playing Black Adam. Don't you say that? Don't you? Yeah, ever why? Say that? Why? What's wrong with him playing Black Adam? I will slap I, your face. I don't see there. I don't see there being a problem. I don't see there being a problem. Oh wait, one more thing. Did you guys hear who's going to be playing Doctor Strange? Hell Hydra. Hell Hydra. Yes. Hell Hydra. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? <laughs> uh, uh, Cumberbatch. The guy who plays Sherlock. Benedict. Benedict Cumberbatch is going to be playing. Sh- is going to be playing Doctor Strange. That's kind of weird. That, that is matter. kind of strange. I thought Doctor Giant- <laughs> <laughs> Strange was Doctor Strange. Oh, <laughs> like what I did there? Yeah, I, I did. I did. That I just... Hashtag <laughs> McFarble. <laughs> did you guys happen to see um, like uh, Marvel's seventy fifth um, special on ABC where they showed clips of Ant Man? I did. That was pretty cool. I heard about it. Yeah. So. I just don't think Ant-Man really needs his own movie. That's like giving The Vision his own movie. Okay. I am The Vision. End credits. Yeah, well, he's going to be in Age of Ultron, so... Sadly. But, I mean, yeah, so either way, you're, you know... You're I'd rather see Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver get their own movie. Not Ant-Man. I'm so conflicted about that because you know they're going to change their origin and how they get their powers and stuff like that because, you know, Fox owns X-Men. And, you know, so they're going to have to change how they get their powers. Where in, you know, the comics, they're, they're mutants. They're born with it. Where in here, I don't know what they're going to do. Maybe they're going to tie it in with Inhumans. Which is cool, because in humans, um, there's this gas that you inhale and that changes your genetics and then gives you Venom? powers. Yes. Yes, Brian. Yes. Marvel stole Venom. Yes. Everyone heard it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I would love to do Venom. If I was going to have one drug of choice, shoot me up with it. <laughs> but yeah, but then you'd be, you'd be like on roids, dude. You'd just be like on Who roids. cares? Who's going to stop me? Not Batman, that's for sure. <laughs> He'll be at the goddamn chiropractor's office. <laughs> it broke. <laughs> that was a great Robot Chicken if no one saw that, though. The DC special for Robot Chicken was fantastic. <laughs> I did not see that one. It was on like last Sunday, and it was amazing. Okay, now I get to see it. (laughs) Yes, you do. Best thing is, Bane just keeps on breaking Batman's back through the whole episode. (laughs) Ah, 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 I think my feet just touched my head. (laughs) It was amazing. (laughs) Oh, man. So I think, um, oh, uh, um, getting back on the Star Wars um, track, uh, what about the new title that you know that they just released for Star Wars Episode Four, Star Wars Force Awakens. Star Wars Episode Four. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, people! Seven. They're remaking Star Wars. <laughs> seven, seven. Grab your guns. Seven. <laughs> Shit just got real. Sorry, if it's seven. God. Episode 7. And his Star Wars card has been revoked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Stand to hear. Damn it. You were almost a man. Oh, man. So, they, and they finished they fin- they fin- they fin- finish filming it, which is sad for me because I was really hoping to be able to work on it. <laughs> and get somehow amenable. One day. Hey, hey, you got a poster that says you're a founding member. Because I donated money to a charity that they were sponsoring. but Maybe one day it'll pay off. Oh man, it'd be nice. It'd be nice. We you guys, we you guys, uh, I mean, are you guys excited about the new, you know, Star Wars coming out? I, I mean, think it's. Honestly, I need to see a trailer before I can say I'm officially excited. Okay. I'm gonna have to say it's easily though one of the most anticipated films of the coming years. Almost as I think it surpasses Marvel because so many people have seen Star Wars and so many of the older generations know what it is and would definitely want to see that. Everyone who I've come well, into contact with well, and discuss it with they've been extremely excited about it's, it it's funny that you say that because either way if Star Wars does surpass Marvel 
Either way, Disney's going to make bank. It doesn't matter because the, 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 Star Wars is Star Wars, and even if it sucks, I'm still going to go see all of them. Because Star Wars, <laughs> Star Wars owns Marvel and, 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 I mean, sorry, Disney owns... My God, people. God. <laughs> he doesn't know who's making... <laughs> he doesn't know what number Star Wars we're on. <laughs> He doesn't know. Apparently, Star Wars bought Disney and Marvel. Oh my god. <laughs> Batman yeah. is going to be a Jedi. <laughs> it's gonna happen. No, that would be an interesting crossover. Oh my god. <laughs> so, so if, you know, I mean, either way, this is Disney's gonna make money. You know, I mean, they're 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 already making bank as it is with with Marvel alone. And now when Star Wars comes out, oh my god, I mean, they're gonna be. Uh, I mean, they're they're. I can't wait till Saban. So they bought Power Rangers back from Disney, and the new Power Rangers starts. Uh, I mean, what getting closer and closer. The movie, the, the reboot. It's not movie. a movie. It's gonna be a whole TV show with Tommy as the mentor. Oh my god! Cannot wait. <laughs> what else is he gonna do? <laughs> and Alex here is gonna be Alpha Five for Halloween. Ay 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 ay. Why do you always sound Mexican when you do that? Because of Alpha sounds. Sounds Mexican. Que pasa, Linda? Oh, my God. <laughs> no, El no, mantraso no. En, en la biblioteca. <laughs> oh, no. Ay, 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 ay. Pura amigos de power. <laughs> Oh, Alex is dying over here. <laughs> Let's have Go-Go Power Rangers. Vamanos, Vamanos, Vamanos Rangers. <laughs> I mean, I can see it. It'd be fantastic, but I just don't know if there's an audience for it today. Yet. <laughs> oh, Alex is dying over here. <laughs> it's not, you know, like when Tommy put the, like, the knife up and called the Zord. It's just like mariachi music. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is where we're at. People. <laughs> oh man. That was a good one, guys. <laughs> this is going to be the best do, 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 do. podcast ever. The Rangers <laughs> did power. <laughs> Take a deep breath, man. <laughs> Jose Rojo. <laughs> Manuel Verde. <laughs> Paco Azul. <laughs> Esteban Negro. <laughs> Is Miranda <laughs> Amarillo? <laughs> I, I feel like I want to go and watch a Power Rangers now in Spanish. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be quite as good as I just made it out to be. <laughs> no, it won't. It won't. It's going to sit uh, there. I was just going to sit there drooling a little bit, being like, I thought this would be good. <laughs> we should actually just, you know, dub our own Power Rangers episodes in Spanish. I'd make it fantastic. <laughs> yeah, see, you would. Oh my god. <clears throat> Instead of Zordon, Jesus, Jesus, what do we do? <laughs> the cucarachas everywhere. <laughs> you must stamp them. <laughs> With a <the> cockroach sword. <laughs> just like a, a boot shaped sword that just comes down and just squashes them. <laughs> oh my god. That's right. Zord, baila, baila, baila. <laughs> exactly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, that's, that's too funny, man. Uh, uh, speak about Oscar winning <laughs> performance. My performance would definitely get me an Oscar. <laughs> oh my god! Um, what about like this? Fucking uh, DiCaprio would kill you. Oh my German god. Power Rangers. Hi, <laughs> Manfia. And Hydra. Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. How do you feel about like these? Good comic book movies and sci-fi movies are coming out. They're really great, but you know the the but the academy doesn't recognize it unless it's like probably Christopher and probably um uh, the Nolan the new Nolan movie Interstellar. Interstellar. That's gonna go for an Oscar. I mean, guaranteed. But if if it was involving like let's say Captain America: The Winter Soldier, which I thought was really good, you know, that won't go for Best Picture. 
or anything like that. Or well, it, I don't know. know. I think it's one of the ideas of the fact that it's like an action movie. You know, I mean, The Winter Soldier was definitely, I would classify it as an action movie. It doesn't exactly... It brings a lot to the table and it has a complex storyline, which a lot of people like and I'm sure the Academy enjoys, but the fact of the matter is it doesn't bring... When you leave the movie, you don't really have a lingering thought in your head. You go to see it and you're like, yeah, it was a fucking awesome movie. But one thing that's good about Christopher Nolan is that he is an excellent director when it comes to leaving you with a thought in your head. Think about... Think about, he directed Inception. Batman Begins, correct? Yeah, he directed all of them. Yeah. Think it's, about it's it. Like, Batman Begins, his overarching thought is like fear, the whole movie. That's the thing. The second Batman movie is all about anarchy, anarchy and madness and, and human nature. Mm-hmm. Um, Inception kind of gives a little bit of a depth into the mind. Right. But things like that are the things that the Academy are looking Batman for. Batman needs to learn to incept. Yes. He can solve every crime. Joker, just like incept him. Done. No more Joker. <laughs> yes, Joker. Good is bad. <laughs> yes, Harley Quinn, you are my mistress. <laughs> That's where we're uh, at, Master people. Wayne, I noticed you have uh, 30 villains naked in your room. Yes, Alfred, I stopped crime. <laughs> I deserve a reward. <laughs> you want in? You want in. You can have one. Everybody gets one. You're still the help. <laughs> he, he throws him. Bruce Wayne throws him like the, the penguin. <laughs> Here this you isn't go. a female. <laughs> It'll work the same. <laughs> mm, so, I agree. I mean, like, I, I feel like these movies are like are really good. I mean, not just because they're action-packed movies or anything like that, but they have a good story. Just to eat those. Yeah. <laughs> No, just, just for reference, people, we have a, a bowl of candy here because it's recently Halloween. Alex right. was so generously provided us with some, but he definitely has pencils and pens pencils in here. don't taste good. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't even get an eraser. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck sort of cheap ass pencils is this? What is this? Um, I'm supposed non, to eat these? The non edible. I'm gonna pencil. call the Mexican Power Rangers on you. Don't help me. <laughs> God. God, don't please. All right, back to the business at hand. Uh, so. I mean, if we were to host the Oscars and we were to pick a um, a movie for like you know best picture, I mean what I mean. And, and, and oh, can you really call it fair? to some of these things are going to go up with? Okay, Twelve Years a Slave going up to Captain America. Yes, I love Captain America, but to say oh yeah, Twelve Years a Slave, horrible movie, Captain America. No, there's but, so many but, injustices that would be done. I mean, I mean, they don't necessarily have to win, but at least being the same like the like, consideration though. They yeah. won't be. Okay. Uh, Ever. I, I think they should. And in your opinion, what do you think movie I mean, should be at least in the category of, of Best Picture? You can't even classify them in the same thing. I think you can. No. Then what would you? I, 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 I either uh, Captain America or Soldier. It's really, really good. Uh, Batman, um, The Dark Knight. Um, it was great. I mean, Heath Ledger did win, you know, for a Best Supporting Actor, but I think that should have won for Best Picture. That, I think that definitely. I think uh, The Dark Knight definitely should have been up there for Best Best Picture. Uh, I would have to agree with you there. That was an absolutely fantastic movie. Mm-hmm. Um, but the script and the director and everything that came together to make it really, really made that movie what it was, uh, and it really, really made it fantastic. I agree. Um, but even though it's a comic-based movie, it still had the elements that I believe the Academy would be looking for with regards to that overarching storyline. The complex storyline, the overarching theme, it was it was as much a piece of art as it was a good movie, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that's really what they're looking for. But when you have a straight-up action flick like Avengers or something along that, when you don't have any sort of idea or theme... Some of these things are hard to judge. Yeah, I would have to. Agree. Half of Captain America is nothing but punching. You can't put that up against dialogue. <laughs> well, the best line from Captain America: "Thwack, punch, swish." <laughs> Good show, chaps. <laughs> I would have to agree. With, I would have to agree with you there. And some of these things aren't like critics going through these movies. Like critics pick them out, but then they have like panels of judges like go through and pick out what was good. You like you can't say for best picture again. We'll go with like say the Dallas Buyers Club and 
Captain America 2. How do you even begin to compare and contrast those? <laughs> oh, Matthew Connie has AIDS. Captain got betrayed by his own people. Very similar. Very similar. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's like put it up against like uh, American Hustle. Then I mean, if we're going, if we're going but to play again, Dallas yeah, Dallas Club can't you? American that's Hustle, the problem. They're, Action they're, they're movies different. and comic book movies, you can't. There's nothing to compare them to. There's no. There's no comic. There's grounds. no equivalency, guys. To be like, oh, okay. All right. Well, in my opinion, then they should be an award for. I mean, they used to be used to be the Scream Award, with Spike TV, and Sally they you know they uh. Took that award away. There used to be a video game channel. Yeah, the G4. Yeah. And they took that away. God damn it. Now, 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 all we have left is podcasting. And comic book men. And comic book men. And... Everything on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> Everything on the There's internet. always the internet. We yeah. rule the world. Yeah, we do. We're, we're like Hydra. Hail, Hail Hydra. 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 <laughs> oh, man. So, all right, guys. We'll gonna be next topic and may finish this off with um comic reviews so have you guys read any comics that you nope. like to share with us i don't have comic book shops in the north no but you might have read some good comics have, have i mean we've you know if you go on our blog you've read our you know my review of logan you know old man logan i thought it was amazing i still know? find it odd that you were who, who was the actor that you were suggesting to play him in the movie? Would. i don't know he would have been the bad at, at, back in his prime clean but, but he like, ain't in his young. prime no more okay his prime like you know in his 50s then or six you know, he's not 50s. no uh, hugh jackman set the tone <laughs> for wolverine the only way that movie's gonna get made is when Hugh Jackman is seventy years old and still on anabolic steroids. <laughs> only way it's gonna get done. Okay, fine. No Hugh Jack, no clean sweat for Old Man Logan. But I mean, we all know what the Dark Knight, the Frank Miller's Dark Knight is, right? We've all seen at least the read, read the comic or seen the animated. I'm familiar. Right. The animated <laughs> film was actually fantastic for that. I was blown away. Have you guys seen? Um, and forgive me, I know he's done, I mean, uh, either Sin City, A Dame to Kill. Uh, I've never um, seen Sin City. I heard it was a horrible either. movie. Yeah, me too. Okay, what up, Men in Black 3? Uh, nah. That I one was Men decent. That one actually wasn't too bad. I actually enjoyed it. Men in the Black, what, Tommy Lee Jones and Chris Rock? <laughs> no? <laughs> no? Am I slightly off? I, I think you are, sir. Um, that, I just can't remember that actor. He was a, um... Josh Brolin? Yes, Josh Brolin. Man, Man, out of nowhere for 10 points. <laughs> yeah. Josh Brolin as um, Old Man Bruce Wayne. I think. I, Why he, do you keep trying to put old people? Because they called for old. I mean, those characters like in, in The Dark Knight. No he, one wants to see 50, this yet. No one wants to see this yet. I no one is in the mood for it. I understand. Everyone's like once young superheroes. Yes, okay? they want to pour tequila down their chest and lick it off and say, Batman. <laughs> That's how the world is. Uh-huh. But in my opinion, if they were to ever make a Dark Knight Return live version, you know, Josh Brolin would be, you know. By the time they make that, he'd be dead. Yeah. No, but <laughs> probably. I mean, but we, we know we're talk, you know we're talking about right, Josh Brolin. Yeah, he's the guy from Men in Black Three. Yeah, yeah. so we know who All Josh right. Brolin is. Okay, good. All right, uh, comics I've been reading: um, <clears throat> uh, The Spider Verse, which is pretty freaking cool, actually. You know, they they. Basically, uh, the the storyline is um, <clears throat> there are these villains who are traveling to multiple parallel worlds and sucking the life out of like different versions. like a spider. I guess so. <laughs> like know? a black widow. <clears throat> you know, <laughs> baby. <clears throat> different versions of Spider Man. You know, and so they release like these um, <clears throat> these you know like um. So they pretty much remade Jet Li's the one with yeah, Spider Man. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, but you know it's cool because like they they tell these stories before you know before it's kind of like you know they interact with this villain, and the, one of them was like a, a messed up version of, of Spider Man, where um, you know Peter Parker is raised in an abusive home with an abusive uncle, and when he gets bit he gets bit by this female um, black widow spider. He grows boobs. Alter. And uh, <laughs> and he, you know, he uses his powers to hunt people and eat them. And he basically transforms into this monster. You know, and it's pretty fucked up because, you know, like he, you know. But they did something like that in the comic when he like took that one serum and became like an actual 
Well, yeah. Like Spider. Right, but but he was still a superhero though. You know. Yeah, but he, he like was... couldn't control himself. He tried to eat people. I I well yeah right but but in this like he when he would bite somebody you know he like like implant eggs in them and so like you know and, he turned into a female <laughs> yeah I mean there you go yeah, yeah he, he's got a point yeah he 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 he, he would you know like uh, put eggs in them and like the eggs would burst out and like thousands of spiders would be coming from like the pores you know and just consume the person what about the story <laughs> of Barack Obama and Spider Man wait a minute. Explain this to me. Is, there is no Barack Obama. There is Barack Obama no. Spider Man. You mean Miles? Barack Obama. Ultimate. Okay, I admit he was his strongest resemblance to Barack Obama. Yes. Uh, okay. Mr. Real, I'm gonna need you to put that safe down. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, let's talk about this. And, okay, if you guys aren't familiar with the uh, Marvel's Ultimate, you know, storyline, there is an Ultimate storyline where of Spider Man, where Spider Man, um, you know, like a young version of Peter Parker actually dies trying to save um, Captain America's life. He, he took a, literally a bullet for Captain America. And he died, and there was this kid who got bit from a, a stolen spider that his uncle, his uncle was like a fam- famous thief, right? And he came into his house and was arguing with his dad, and the spider, you know, came out of the bag and, and bit, you know, this, this kid, uh, this African-American boy. And he became kind of the new Spider-Man. And Barack Obama. Yeah. And, and, and yes, he has a strong. So Barack Obama is Spider Man. That's well, what people. Well, okay. well, it's kind of cool because Barack Obama like said that his favorite superhero was Spider Man. Is that where you they know? made this? Do you so, think? Did this come yeah, out yeah, after yeah. that came? After um, that they probably did. Was released. I'm going to save the world, and I'm going to use my webbing. Yeah. So okay. I, I'm all for it. If I ever meet Barack Obama, I would have him sign. Like, I have a. Oh, uh, Barack! Um, can you go ahead and sign my uh, notebook? Yeah, like that. How you doing, Brock? He won't be offended at all. Uh, he should be. <laughs> um, just talking in his way, Brock. The ball. Oh man. So, and then I've also been um, reading um, <clears throat> um, the new Batman um, storyline we call Endgame, and basically the the Joker's come back, and uh, he. The Joker never leaves. Are you talking about like death in the family continuing? Oh, I mean, it, it could be from from the same storyline. You know, uh, I mean, I mean, it is definitely the, the same Joker. You know, but the Torah face. Yeah, we was, with 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 the, with the Torah face, but it's weird because somehow he's had he's mind controlling the Justice League. So now they're kind of going in that direction, and I'm kind of interested in see how they're gonna keep it. You know, that I just don't understand this because the Joker's <laughs> not smart. He's not. No, I don't know. I think I don't know. From some he's of the comics good. that I've read, he's he's incredibly intelligent and calculating, but he's yeah, also I mean, straight up fucking insane. Yeah, he. I mean, he, he uses intelligence in, in a very like <laughs> psychotic way. I mean, that's the only way I, I I can you know put it. Like he has this he, he has this brilliant mind, and he uses it to because he could have been if he was really intelligent, he could have just you know robbed a bank, laid low, and like bought out Wayne Corp. But he's not he's not doing it for that though. He, he's he he's psychotic to, torture, to the point yeah. where he exactly. wants to destroy I would have told you about it and be like, hey, hey Bruce, you're fired. Look at my face. <laughs> sure. Yes, yeah. Then I make you know, I make Alfred wear like a maid suit. Oh, I also bought your mansion, boy. Get out. <laughs> like just like hire goons to take over like his mansion and his job and like t- kick him out of Gotham. <laughs> All right, you know, I mean, I mean, I, I'm sure they probably did that with Dark Dark Knight Return, or Dark Knight Rises. They, 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 you know, they bankrupt Bruce Wayne and he was losing everything. So, you know, and actually, did you guys ever read the article how the dark the third one was actually supposed to be had the Joker in it? But I mean, they were like already writing the script, you know, when they were filming the second one, and then he died, he died, and they had to re- rewrite it all over again. So I mean, originally, like, um, like he thought wasn't gonna be in, in the movie completely, just in the beginning, you know, he was on trial and stuff like that, and then they would have continued on with like other characters. I think it would have been about uh, Harvey Dent actually. Hmm. It would have been about Harvey Dent. Har, right? not Bane. And, the, and him being Two Face, which would have been awesome because I feel like Two Face didn't really get justice. You know, like, hey, he got justice. a whole twenty minutes in that movie. Yeah, I mean, they could have portrayed him better. It's not his fault he has to, you know, fall off a ledge and die. <laughs> oh, man. So. Well, anything else know. on the agenda? Uh, yeah, if you guys, do you guys want to say, maybe make a, you know, 
Any, any other news you want to mention or anything like that? Or well, I would like to mention Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. Yeah. Um, that's all for me. All right. Well, uh, I guess we'll we'll wrap it up then for, for tonight. I never got a nickname, so it's going to uh, have to happen next time. No, no, no. We need to finish <laughs> that nickname now. We'll call him Twizzlers. Twizzlers? <laughs> Oh, I'm fine with that. <laughs> oh my god! All right, I guess we're sticking with <laughs> Twizzlers. It is. Oh, I, mean, right. I mean, so far only me and Mr. DC have actually names that involve comics. All of our other guests have been Melanosaurus, the Denzel, and now Twizzler. Hey man, so, I would prefer yeah. something with Star Wars because that is like my beef. I am. I'm Darth Espiso. That just sounds. That's a bitch to say. <laughs> Why? What? Okay. What, I mean, like a master of the Spisa? I mean, that's a sound like sexual right there. Master does of the it? Spisa. It does, yes. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Mr. Wooks. Mr. Wooks? Wooks. Wooks. What? Why? I don't know. <laughs> He's just naming got... words. <laughs> well, I got the hair, so I guess you can just call me the Wookie. The Wookie. <laughs> All right, I like that. I guess so. All right, the Wookie. The Wookie uh, it is. Does that wrap up business? Yes, I believe sir, that wraps does. up business. This Hail has Hydra. been another episode. <laughs> Of Hell Hydra, Windy City Comic Blog. Again, I'm your host, Mr. DC. I'm the amazing Alex. And I guess I'm the Wookiee. Good night and good fight and... Excelsior. <laughs>